Here at Element 451, we take student engagement seriously. We meet students where they are, and all the information that we're tracking here from what students are looking at, when they're looking at it, and how they're looking at it, we want to take all of that information and we want to make it actionable. We want to automate it. We want to take away the manual work from interacting with and engaging with these students, but at the same time, giving them personalized content that makes them feel seen. So we do that with workflows. Uh, and that's our extremely powerful, easy to use tool that we have here to automate actions within Element. And I know the first thing that probably pops into your mind is, you know, drip campaigns, which of course we do really well. Fantastic job at taking these communications, creating them, making them personalized, and then automating them for as long as you want to go through a process. So right here, you can see we have a an admitted yield campaign, right? Because we want to manage that melt and make sure that the students that are admitted actually show up on campus come their start date. So you'll take a look here and just give you the lay of the land here. You'll see we have an audience over here, which is going to house who goes into this workflow, who is receiving these communications or these actions that we're completing. And then to the right of that, you'll see that we have action steps. And these action steps, again, fully customizable. And we'll go through one of these briefly here. So you can see once you determine who your audience is, we've set up a trigger here for a join segment. So now anytime that anyone joins the segment of being a business major, so they've submitted some information to Element or we've brought that in from an import and that's now within their student profile, they'll now be a part of that segment and be enrolled into this workflow automatically. You don't need to do anything on your end. If you want to manually add people, you can load a segment or just go ahead and search by name there. But you can also add multiple other triggers. So we have triggers based off of application actions that have been completed, decisions, event signups, maybe you've added a particular label, and a form submitted, and join segments right there, and left segments, and birthday because you got to celebrate, right? So you can go ahead and create your trigger, and then moving after that, the first thing you'll see is a delay. So once students join this segment, you'll notice that there's a seven day delay and then they'll be sent their first communication. So whenever you're looking at this breakdown, you'll see that the first thing at the very top here is a condition. So it's going to run these students through a condition to make sure that they are still an admitted and deposited student. If they fall outside of the parameters of this segment, then they'll go down the branch here that says no, and they'll go ahead and finish the workflow, fall off, and they won't get that communication. But if they do fall within that, they will get that communication and continue to move down through this workflow. It looks like we have a bunch of communication set up here, which is fantastic, but I think right in the middle here, we wanna go ahead and create a task for somebody. I'll create a task for myself for us to just do a little bit of a check-in because as personalized as we can make these communications, it might be good to get an actual person on the other end. And then we'll go ahead and do due date type. We'll make it relative, do one day from the execution, sign it to myself, and we will make it a phone call. So now we have this down here and we rename it phone call task. We'll run it down here. We'll add a condition. We'll load that segment and we will do admitted deposited students. Now we have that condition there. If they don't fall within it, they'll finish the workflow. And now we can actually just go ahead and drag this over here earlier in this process. So we want to add it down here just to check in maybe right there near the beginning, you know, right here in the middle after the check in SMS. So now we've added another step to this and now it's a phone call. It's not just sending communication, it's creating a task. And as you can see, there are a lot of different actions that we can accomplish here. So things from moving to a new major, sending a communication, adding a label automatically, setting any milestones that that student's reaching, creating a task like we just did. And then you'll see down here just a bunch. You can enroll them in workflows, finish the workflows. So 
Again, just a bunch of different functionality here. It's not just the tool to send out communications automatically, although it does that really well. It does a lot of stuff in here. And one more point to highlight here is this isn't just for prospective students or admitted students. This is for current students. You can create these for any reason that you want. You have students that are in there and you're looking to get that retention up. You don't want to lose as many students. Let's create a workflow for at-risk students, right? So you pull in those students, you, maybe you built out a segment to determine what criteria designates an at-risk student that you're collecting. Maybe they withdrew from a course. Well, now you can add that as a trigger. You can give them a label of at-risk, create a task, send those communications, and really dig in on those students so they're not falling through the cracks. Whenever they're struggling, whenever they need you, you're there. So workflows, extremely powerful, extremely easy to use, as you can see here. And again, they are life-changing for the end user. So hope you enjoyed that. Let's move on to the next one.